thousand stinging like bees tonight at the Fort York Armories. Peter Kim is ringside for kids. Peter. Now, despite the flashiness and excitement of an event like this, the money raised here tonight goes to a very serious and important cause. Everybody wins here. Main thing is those kids. The money raised from this event goes to the Canadian Company Scholarship Fund, a fund set up for the children of fallen Canadian soldiers. We can't raise money for the kids of the fallen troops. We can't raise money for anybody. That's the way I feel. This is Canada as far as I'm concerned. The Don Cherry came out to support the cause and praised the hard work of the Flatborough Sabres. How much did you guys raise for the charity? Um, we raised about $1,500. When your parents talking, you need all the help you can get. Juan Vargas beat his opponent in a unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Juan Vargas! My lighting and the nerves they kick in at first, once I get in there, the fun started. In addition to being a frontline force, the fighters in the ring, who also include soldiers, are also amateur boxers. Who makes the tougher boxer, the soldier or the police officer? I think they're both very tough. I'd have to say uh, police officers. I have to say that, I think. I, I do. I'm going to say the police officer I work out of Brooklyn. Robert Fresnetta didn't hesitate to support the cause, and he got something out of it as well. I think being a boxer definitely has to be a better police officer. Now, if you want to support Canada Company, the organization behind the scholarships, you can donate online. Go to citynews.ca and click on FYI. At the Fort York Armory, Peter Kim, City News. The Ontario